Kazakhstan. Mr. President, the crisis in Ukraine is particularly painful and sensitive for Kazakhstan. For centuries, the Kazakh, Russian, and Ukrainian people have been living always in friendship and accord. Today, Kazakhstan is the home for Kazakhs, Russians, Ukrainians, Tatars, Germans, Poles, Koreans, and many others living in peace and harmony. We will together raise our children, strengthen unity and friendship, and create a prosperous future for our common land of Kazakhstan. In its statements, Kazakhstan has repeatedly confirmed its adherence to the fundamental principles of international law. We are interested that Ukraine remains a sovereign, stable, and independent state. The economic recovery of Ukraine is the main priority and prerequisite for the full-fledged normalization of the country's situation. Kazakhstan always follows an independent foreign policy based on balance of interests. Kazakhstan's position that conflicts should be resolved through negotiations under the auspices of the United Nations reflects the views and interests of the majority of states of the world. In today's critical circumstances, we have to act taking into account the accomplished facts and current realities. It is of crucial importance to heed the voice of reason and to search all possible ways for a peaceful settlement of the crisis through political and diplomatic means and within the framework of internationally agreed formats. Kazakhstan calls upon all parties involved to leave behind emotions, mutual acquisition and finger-pointing and refuse the language of ultimatums and sanctions. We should not allow further escalation of tensions but avoid transforming the situation into a more complex form which could lead to unpredictable consequences of both a regional and global scale. We stand ready to promote and support international mediation efforts, facilitate the negotiation process among all parties and their leaders with a view to the earliest resolution of the situation in Ukraine. In light of the above mentioned, Kazakhstan has abstained during the voting. Thank you.